What's new in the official build of Havoc OS version 4.6 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and we have a new build of Havoc OS version being 4.6 based on Android 11. This of course is the official build and we have it installed on the POCO F1. First change you will notice is that the security patch has been changed to June 2021. The kernel they are using is Silver Core. SE Linux of course is set as enforcing. Now do note I am running the vanilla build with nix stock g apps on top so i do have pixel launcher and select works without any issues so does screenshot if i press and hold on the empty space go into styles and wallpapers they have fixed the bug where in this option would crash and if you go into curated culture you do have the june pixel drop wallpapers as well next thing they have done is they have added a new quick setting tile which is for your screenshot so if you tap on it you can toggle between full and partial screenshot so let us select partial and they have also fixed the bug of wi-fi usage in your quick settings panel so let us open settings try to take a screenshot so three finger screenshot gesture is there but when you use the gesture it is going to take a full screenshot if i try to use the combination of volume down and power button to take a screenshot then also it is taking a full screenshot so it looks like the tile is not working let us test it out one more time so screenshot is set to partial and let's take a screenshot yep looks like the tile is broken however i think there was a customization setting somewhere else as well so let me find that right so i think that was in settings configuration center and miscellaneous screenshot type is set as partial let us give it a try now and see how it goes nope it looks like the tile is broken so is the option so there is a bug but they have added the tile next up while we are talking about the quick settings panel let us also talk about the changes they have done for the screen recorder so you now have option to disable the show dot to stop recording you have a toggle for that and you also have a toggle to lower the recording quality next up they have also added the color mode preview so if you go into settings display live display color profile you now have a preview of how it looks like so this has been fixed and then they have also changed the default screen timeout to two minutes now another change which they have done is i'll have to babble for a minute so if you're on the power menu after a minute it will go back to your previous screen whether it be the home screen or something else now that we're talking about stuff for one minute do note that poco india management has no manners their director of india blames youtubers for all the information and their sales lead blocks people when they try to help other people so yeah we do have videos for those in the description of the video in case you are interested in watching it and i don't know what else to babble for 60 seconds it is kind of long to talk for 60 seconds when you're not you know talking about the rom or talking about the content or trying to roast somebody so kind of difficult but let us wait for another few seconds and see how it goes so yep there it is right on time as you can see it went back to the home screen which was my previous screen so this is another feature which they have added next up they have added something interesting called sleep mode so again go into settings configuration center and once you are in configuration center go into battery saving bam sleep mode in the building so what is sleep mode well basically you can schedule it from say sunset to sunrise or at a specific time and then you can determine what you want to do so do you want to turn off wi-fi bluetooth mobile data location sensors aod enable aggressive battery what do you want to do with the ringer mode so these are all the customizations which you can do next up they have also added alarm blocker and wake lock blocker but for that for starters you'll have to enable developer options so you can go into settings about phone and once you're in about phone you can tap on the build number seven times you will get a message that you are a developer then you can go into settings system developer options bam here it is two options alarm blocker and wake lock blocker of course feel free to pause and read what they do and to enable them just tap on it and enable the 
toggle. Next feature they have added is the ability to block media apps from resuming. So let us say I have a piece of music playing, right? I go into the quick settings panel, press and hold. And then if I go into settings, you will see you have toggles for all the three applications which are allowed to show as a media player in your quick settings. So this is the new option which they have added with the latest 4.6 build. Next up, let us also go to the Magisk application and check if safety net is working or not. So device is not rooted right now. Let us check for safety net. As you can see, safety net is passing out of the box. Let us also go to the Google Play Store and here and we can go into settings about phone. Here it is, Play Protect certification device is certified. This means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues now in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works no jitters in the ui while playing your videos no audio jitters picture in picture works of course for picture in picture either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you have not purchased youtube premium widevine l1 has been broken on the poco f1 for ages because poco india forgot to pay the rent for that and the next thing we can check for is your portrait light feature so here it is do note with the june drop you have storage saver instead of original high quality this i think is high quality but it limits the file size to 16 mb let me confirm it and skip it we can now try to edit a picture of my favorite football star and let's try to edit it i think it is syncing it from the cloud so once the loading bar has finished we can go into adjust portrait light bam here it is portrait light feature in the building working without any issues important thing to note over here is that it is only going to work for human objects if you try to edit a picture of your other objects like my chicken friend over here, I won't even get the option of portrait light. Next thing we can check is whether Hey Google is working or not. So it is a bit finicky. Hey Google, are you awake? Hey Google. So I do see the mic notification and the status bar, but it's not working. Let us turn the screen off. Hey Google, are you awake? So it is working with the screen turned off. Let us turn the screen on and try one more time. Hey Google, are you awake? Yep, so now it is working. So it seems to be working, but you might have some minor issues and that might be another bug in this build or it just could very well be my device. Next thing we can check for is your app opening animations to see if you have any lags, any jitters in the UI. So far, so good. No lag, no jitters, recents work absolutely fine. Let us check out our Google feed as well. So no jitters and no lags in the Google feed either. The transition from Google feed to the home screen is pretty smooth as well. There it is. Try switching between a few applications. Again, no jitters, no lags, everything is super fast and super smooth and there it is peeps that is what was new in havoc os version 4.6 based on android 11 running on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you